Hello everybody and welcome to episode 1 of Pokemon Mega Power version. This is an Emerald ROM hack made by 1158 on Poke Community. He has also created Pokemon Victory Fire and Pokemon Resolute, which I am have been live streaming for uh, the past week or so. And uh, Pokemon Mega Power is a brand new game uh, released. It is demo 1 version, so it has two gym badges. Uh, so it should be, you know, two or three episodes, uh, maybe a few more, since uh, these games are usually pretty tough, uh, made by 1158, so I'm really excited to play it. Um, I haven't really been excited for that much as of recent. There's not a whole lot of new games that I'm really interested in playing, but uh, I'm sure that this one definitely sparked my interest, and I'm definitely ready to play it. So it looks like we have a new professor now. I'm going to have to speed up the text when I remember. Welcome to Team Delta. My name is Casper. Alright, I'm a golden trio. There's a Houndoom. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there will be mega evolutions in this game. There's a lot of different... Uh, I think there's 5th and 6th gen Pokemon and 4th. And uh, if I didn't say it already, it's an Emerald hack. So uh, there you go. Let's just take a look at each character. I think the male's a little cooler. So I'm going to go with uh, Dave, as always. Uh, unless I play the female character, then I'm Fitz. And there you go. So, uh, yes, we are Dave. And do we have a rival? No, okay. Uh, so there you go. I guess that's all we have. Alright, so let's speed up the text real quick. I kind of like the overworld character. Looks pretty cool. Well, if I finally did so, I sh know I shouldn't have done so, but... What? Okay. Uh, professor. Professor, as your aide, I'm always, I'll always be on your side, but I can't understand why you still decide to work for those evil person, even though, uh, you, even though that they might abuse your progressing project once you finished it. Tyra, I really don't know how to tell you what I'm thinking. As a scientist, researching is my life, but we've run out of our money. If we don't try to find some way to get enough money we can't keep up, then... I know it might be a mistake to work for Team Delta, but I have no other way to bring our project back to life. Well, Professor, I still can't understand, but as I said, I'll work for you faithfully. Come with me, we have a problem. Alright, so I guess we're a Pokemon Professor. That's pretty cool. It's definitely a new, um... new way of doing things, and the overworld kind of messed up, but that's alright. Professor, this girl tried to get in our lab yesterday. Luckily, the guards detected her. Now, Professor, what should we do? Who are you? Why did you try to get in our lab? Go away. I would finish you off if I had my Pokemon with me. Don't you know that this place belongs to Team Delta and no one was allowed to get in without permission? I know that. That's why I came here. I'm just here to destroy all of you, you crooks. Professor, she knows our project. What should we do now? I have no idea. She regards herself as a hero. Well, she's quite stubborn. I even don't know what to make an end of this. How to make an end of this, I guess. Well then, just forget her, let's finish the project as quick as possible, then just release her. I don't want her to get into our project again. Well, Tyra, you're right. We better go back to work now. Order the guards to keep her here until we're finished. Alright. I better go back to work as well. Alright, so this is an interesting storyline. Um, but as you can see, the creator of the game is... English isn't his first language, so... It's not the best translated, but... Uh, I'll try my best to keep it up, uh, keep fixing it as I go. Uh, Professor, I got on the phone, uh, got the phone call from Casper, one of the Golden Trio of Team Delta. He said he would like to know our current progress, and he's waiting in Fescue City. It'll be a long trip, so you'll need these. I thought you'd give me running shoes. Alright. Uh, which, uh, starter do we want to use? Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with Minchino. I don't really know what to nickname this. No, I guess we don't get to nickname it yet. Alright, pretty cool. Naive. Pound, Growl, Helping Hand. Alright, not bad. Let's see if anyone else gives us anything or anything. Um, so, I guess we'll just head out now. Okay. No, I don't think it's time for me to enter. What? Where, almost, where else am I supposed to go? Oh, this way? 
Okay. Works for me. What do these guys have to say? Have you finished that? Hey, whatever, we grunts know nothing about it. Alrighty. What's down here? Is that the way we're supposed to go? I have no idea. Let's see what this is first. Okay, it's just beds. Alright, we get Pokeballs. That's pretty good. So make sure you come here first. And we can rest here. Alrighty. This person looks kind of important. We've got a potion. Alright. So let's get out of here. Move to the next city. So I guess we will still be collecting badges, even though we're Professor. Which doesn't really make a ton of sense, but I guess it works. Let's uh, pick up this item. Sunny day. Interesting. I guess if you have pants here, it's not a bad idea. Um, so, let's check what we can find here. And the uh, battle scene is pretty cool looking. Um, especially for a first demo, I mean. Uh, it looks very nice. So, let's uh, get this item. Okay. Well, that item freezes your game, so I'm just going to be right back <laughs> in a second. Alright, what's up guys? So yeah, make sure you don't... Uh, touch that item because apparently you can't pick it up and it freezes your game so uh, we'll look for other Pokemon but um, I'm not really sure what I want to uh, catch next but uh, there's Bunnelby we've seen Scatterbug um, I think Starly's in this grass so a couple of cool Pokemon to choose from and uh, looks like we'll get some easy experience to start off our uh, adventure here and uh, Furfro, interesting, alright. This may take a while to kill because this thing has pretty good physically, defensively, so. Um, finally take it out, but there we go. Hopefully we'll learn some cool moves soon, maybe like Rock Blast or something. Bullet Seed would be nice. I don't think we have Skill Link, we probably have Cute Charm though. Pick up, alright. I wonder if uh, Chinchino will have pick up or something different. Okay, geez. This uh, Absol is quite challenging. Uh, we don't have anything else to really heal up against. Wow. Okay. So now we're in Fescue City, but I'll go back up here, try to take on the uh, past trainer. But I think this is the route I was just on, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we might have to level up already. Was it this guy who had the Absol? Probably, yeah. Alright, well, let's see if we can take him out this time. Oh my god, he has a potion. Alright, wow. So this isn't very easy. <laughs> uh, this game's already really difficult. Let's uh, buy a couple of potions and an antidote. And, um, doesn't look like anyone has anything to really say or give to us, but I think we should train up a level or two, and then take on that guy again. Uh, I'll just do it on screen since it'll only take a few Pokemon to take out. We'll only have to take out a few Pokemon to level up. Um, so one more, and then we'll take on that Ace Trainer or whatever again. Uh, because we probably will get a lot of money from it, but uh, I don't really like how Nurse Joy is situated. I'd rather her right in the center, but that's a cool looking Persian statue. Um, forget, did this girl want to battle us? Really be nice to have running shoes right now, by the way. Okay, that's a different route, so I don't really want to go there. Birdloin. So let's try to beat this Ace Trainer this time. Um, he's gonna leer us, that's not good. But we are gonna take him out this time, alright, good. Took out Lonel, I guess. Uh, okay, Fescue City. Let's heal up one more time. And, uh, I think I haven't been going for that long, so let's check out the city. And see what's going on in here. Looks pretty nice. The houses look very good, too. Uh, let's see if anyone wants to give us items. This guy wants to trade my C dot for a route. Alright. I would probably never do that trade. Well, maybe I would. I kind of like, uh... What's his name? Shiftry. 
pretty cool. Nuzleaf's kind of a pain to train, though. Uh, maybe we'll get a fishing rod? Nope. Alright, so yeah, in the previous games that 1158 has made, we've just been kids, kind of the uh, normal storyline of Pokemon, collect badges and take down the evil team. But now, it's a lot more in-depth where we are the uh, part of the bad team, but I'm guessing we're going to turn on them at some point. This person's facing the wrong way in their chair. <laughs> it's kind of odd. And uh, I am going to save just to make sure, like, uh, just occasionally because some people might not have scripts and uh, don't want the game to freeze. Uh, let's just go in all the houses until we uh, make sure we don't find anything. I think those guys are probably pretty important, so we're going to have to talk to them in a sec. And uh, maybe we'll be able to take on the gym? I'm really not sure. It might be a little too challenging at this point. Uh, let's see if this old lady has anything to say. No. This girl's running pretty fast. Four hermits. Alright. Not gonna be able to remember all these storylines going on. Did we go on this one? Uh, no. He's just talking about EVs and IVs and stuff. Um, I think we went in there. Alright, so... Let's see what the guy in front of the gym leader has to say. Uh, the gym leader went to the Kalos region. Alrighty. Did we talk to these people? This is a big city for the first uh, city. Usually they're pretty small. I guess Rubosto, or Rustboro. I don't know why I said Rubosto. <laughs> uh, I think in Hoenn, that's a pretty big city, and that's kind of the first real city that has a gym or anything. Uh, don't be shocked, the knife is made of plastic. Okay. <laughs> um, so, the, alrighty. There's seven gems. Or something like that. Alright. So let's talk to these people. They look important. Claws, you really don't care about this? Not like you businessman, I'm a gambler. I just need to care uh, what happens on the tables. But you, Casper, you're a clever businessman. You even organized Team Delta and employed that young scientist called, hmm, Dave? Yes, that's the professor's name. You did all these things for your business, that's why we're different. I understand it, Claus. We all do things for money, but you earn by your luck. But I must earn it by my job. And Claus, I know what you mean, but I have no time to listen to you. The game corner of Spurlina City is open now, so please allow me to go. I'd like to test it out if I'm still as lucky as how I was yesterday. Alrighty, so even Casper might be having second thoughts. Well, I just thought he would be a good partner for me. Never mind, my plan is perfect for it. Glad to see you again, Professor. Tell me, how's the project going on? It runs well, I see. Professor, we have perfect partners, I think. You're a good scientist. You have a smart brain. You know how to work out the project. I'm a businessman. I have so much money, I know how to run the project. Once we succeed, both of us will benefit a lot from our co uh, cooperation. Dave, I... Professor Dave, I always support you. Here, I have a thousand dollars just for you. I know it's not enough for the project, so I contributed 100 million for your secret lab. The money I gave you is nothing compared to what I contributed before. But the money I gave you can still be useful. It's for you to train your Pokémon. Yes, I know. A girl attacked your lab before, so we must do something to defend ourselves. Training Pokémon can always be a good way. Well, no time to talk, Professor. Keep it up. I must go back for the meeting for Team Delta members. You know, we always organize our member by this way. Farewell. Alrighty then. So, I wonder what we're actually going to be doing next. Uh, we didn't really have a clear path. I don't think we have to go back to the lab. I want to check out a map. Okay. So it's basically just set up like Hoenn for now. But I'm sure that will change at some point. Um, I don't know where we came from. I don't know where we should be going, but... Uh, I think we could try uh, the place this way. Um, and see if there's anything going on there. There's a Lolito. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Uh, so let's try Crawford Village. I have no time to wander around. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so, that might be something we'll uh, check out later another time. 
Maybe I'll catch a little, uh, little Leo or whatever it's called. Uh, but, alright, maybe I have to go back to the lab. Actually, I should just catch the Pokemon now. And, uh... Because that's kind of something that I'd like to use. Alright, it's a male. So, let's use Pound. And then a Pokeball. Alright, there we go. That was easy. Um... I don't know what I want to call this. This actually is most like my cat out of any Pokemon, so... This is going to be Fitz again. I know if you're watching my live streams, you know that I named one of my Pokemon Fitz, Luxray. But uh, this this fits much better, so... Let's uh, check out its stats and everything. Careful. Uh, it had Flash Fire. Alright. We can deal with that. And we can teach it Sunny Day if necessary. At some point. So I think we should go back to the lab because we really had nothing else for us to do. Um, let's rest up, though. In the bed. Alright, sounds good. And let's talk to our wife or girlfriend or whatever. Alright, uh, Dave got back the Pukanav. Professor, since others were away for the, the ingredient of our project, we must contact them. So I registered them in the Pukanav. Hello, Professor, is that Professor Dave? Yes, this is Professor Dave. Well, Professor, we are searching for some special stones for the project. We need your guidance. We're in a cave of Mount uh, Burnvine, or Burvine. Uh, do you know how to reach here? Professor, do you know Crawfit Village? Just go left from the village. You'll reach it soon. We must escape. There's something unexpected happen. <laughs> he had enough time to say goodbye. Professor, it seems like something terrible happened. We better go. Alright. So, we actually were just there, so... Uh, we actually do know how to get there. As long as we can get out of this lab. And this little cave we've got going on here. And, uh, yeah, so, I'm sure a lot of people are probably going to want to use Vivi, uh, Vion, Vivion, I mean, I don't know how to say it. I'm having t uh, trouble with names today, but, uh, let's get out of here. I guess we could have bought propels, um, uh, but we're on Smartweed Path, we need to go this way now. Oh, we do have running shoes. I didn't think we did. Alright. Ooh, slack off. I kind of like that, but... I'm not going to use it, it's kind of hard to use in-game. Uh, but slacking is pretty good. And so is its pre evo Vigoroth. That's actually a pretty powerful Pokémon. We learned Ember, that's really nice. Uh, Magikarp really shouldn't be able to do anything to us. So let's just tackle away. And eventually we'll take it out. And maybe we'll get a little bit of experience, because it is seven levels higher. So that's some free experience for you if you uh, want it. Definitely take on that guy. I don't know if you can even avoid him. But let's just continue on our way and take on this guy. Horsey. Alright, that probably has bubble. And we actually picked up an item with Minchino. That's cool. Uh, we are still out speeding even though we got a speed drop. Um, what's up next? Binacle. Cool might be pretty tough to take out for us. Um, I don't know, we're probably going to need to get a burn here. I really don't know how we're going to take this thing out. This will take a while. I'm going to have to go back and heal. We need a crit or something. There we go. Alright. So we grew to level 8. We got a ton of experience from that guy. Let's uh, take this item, and I'll see you guys in just a sec, where I'll just go back and heal. Alright, hey guys, I'm back, and uh, yeah, I did see a combi, and I was considering maybe using a Vespa Queen, but uh, I think having two Pokemon for now is good enough. Uh, let's just keep using Ember, because I think that was a crit. Oh, okay. Well then, Pancham, we're going to have to go back and heal again, so I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright, hey guys, and you can also find um, routes in here, so... If you want to get that trade for a um, C dot, then you can get it uh, routes in this route, or just use a routes for yourself. It's a pretty good Pokemon. And uh, let's take on this person with their Zigzagoon. And yeah, Fitz is a male, so that's very good. Uh, we'll be able to get the male version of Pyroar if they have different versions in this game, which I'm sure they do. Uh, so we took out. 
uh, this trainer, Lena, I think. Yeah, Slash Lena. Alright. So I think we're probably almost in the next town, and then we'll end the episode off there. But I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It looks very nice. Um, I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on the game. I, uh, I think this could be the next big uh, game, since it has things like Mega Evolutions and all that kind of thing that people really like. Uh, let's just check out all the houses, see if they have anything to give to us. Uh, and they keep talking about the four hermits, which I'm guessing is just the Elite Four. And um, I don't know why you would call them hermits, though. I guess just since they stay in one spot, waiting for trainers to battle them. I guess it makes sense. Um, let's talk to this old lady. Yeah, I'll take an egg. Alright. So we can check out what that evolves into. And I think she was talking about Mega Evolutions. Um, okay, we learned Mimic, I guess. Not really huge need for that, but whatever. Alright, so, let's just talk to the last, per, or the last couple houses, it looks like. The city's pretty big, too, actually, for a village. Um, but in the next episode, we'll be going towards that mountain. I'm trying to save all the uh, researchers or something. So I will see you guys in a second. They were talking about Carbink and Deancey. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this series. And I'm sure I'm going to like it too. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.